Oh, the boyfriend just texted me. He said she found out about the surprise. I can't believe we just flew 1,100 miles in the freezing cold and the surprise is ruined. I'm so excited. I'm bringing you along to surprise our winner with the Rogue Motorcycle. We're headed to Fargo, North Dakota, and I'm so excited. It's gonna be really rad. Let's go. Oh, I'm trying to figure out if, when we surprise her, if we should say surprise. <laughs> I've been thinking about that for like two days. Like, you know, when she comes in, do we all yell surprise? We made it to Fargo. It's currently five degrees. Um, it says it feels like negative 17, <laughs> and I only brought a hoodie. I brought a puffy vest too, but I don't know if that counts. Holy shit! Oh, okay. Holy shit. The boyfriend just texted me. He said she found out about the surprise. I can't believe we just flew 1,100 miles in the freezing cold and the surprise is ruined. We're going to the boyfriend's shop right now. We're gonna meet him. Uh, and I guess some of her friends are gonna be there. The surprise is ruined though. <laughs> so like, I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm not sure if, uh, if it's gonna be awkward or what's gonna happen. But we're just gonna do it. Friends coming? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Cool. They're on the way yet, okay. So. I was thinking when she comes in, we can just like, just like cheer, you know, and be like, woo! Like even though she already knows, you know, it's fun yeah. that we're <laughs> yeah. like celebrating her and she gets to see it and whatever. I'm bummed she found out, but that's alright. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make the best I, of I it. I think she, yeah, she's gonna still be surprised. It's gonna okay. be real. What is, she actually sees it. So. What has she like said? What she did? She tell you that she oh, knew? She, yeah, kind of. What did she say? <laughs> Basically that she overheard it and whatnot. And she like kinda asked him what was going on. And yeah. So it's cold, so Okay. Yeah, I replaced the uh, battery. Cause this yeah, we had it at the shop for a while and I think the battery went bad. Okay. So I wanted to get her a new one, so it should be good. Make sure, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we started up for her for the first time, can't have it not start. <laughs> We're at PJ's shop, Jenna's boyfriend. We got the bike here. We're just waiting for some of her friends to get here. Um, and then Jenna's gonna come shortly after that. Hello. Hello. How's it going? It's going. Good. I'm Jessica. Lucas. Lucas, nice to meet you. Brianna. Brianna, nice to meet you. But I was thinking like when she comes in, we could just like cheer and make it. Yeah. yeah. I feel like knowing doesn't like take anything away from yeah. still being yeah, and you yeah. like see the bike and it's and real. But, yeah. You could be bummed about a new bike free. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, yeah, really. Dude, that would be so cool though. Today. Jenna's about to get here. I feel like I'm gonna throw up a little bit because I'm nervous, but we're ready. Is everyone ready? I'm ready. Hey. I think I just heard a door close or open. Oh my 
god! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you so much! Yeah. This is so nice. Oh my gosh. I'm excited for you. Oh my gosh. I might yeah. actually think before walking in. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I think I see a tunnel. Like, I think I'm having tunnel vision. I think I'm going to faint. Like, <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh it's a success. I'm glad it's over because that was really scary. I think it went great. It ended up being really fun. I think it turned out perfect. You never know how these things are going to go, but it was great. My name is Jenna Johnson. I won the Indian Scout Rogue 60. I bought the Lita's Scorpion helmet. Um, I started around 2015. I got into dirt bikes. Um, I used to do a lot of trail riding and stuff. And actually, um, the Lita's are actually who inspired me to ride street bike. Um, back when I used to use Instagram more, I used to see like posts pop up of these women riding and I'm like, oh my god, I want to be like that one day. <laughs> um, and I thought it would be so cool just to start riding on the streets instead of just around the trails. And um, yeah, I ended up taking the motorcycle safety class and that's what taught me how to ride the motorcycle better. And then um, about two years later, I got my first bike and then I started riding around town with my friends and yeah. <laughs> It's kind of crazy that this all like went full circle because like these are who inspired me and then like I actually saw a picture of a girl on a scout and I'm like that bike is so sick. I want that bike so bad like so that was like my dream to get one of those one day and then here I am getting a scout and it's just like what? <laughs> full circle. <laughs> being a hell babe to me means embracing yourself, being true to yourself, hitting the road with your friends and being an ultimate so I just wanted to find other women to ride with. I've ridden for dudes for a couple years. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw a post on Instagram, kind of same as you. It was like a picture of like 12 girls at a stoplight, like all riding together. And I was like, damn, that looks like, that looks like so much fun. Like I want that. Yeah. And so it was winter and Salt Lake was cold. You can't ride. And I just decided to plan my first meetup. I was like, I feel like if I plan something, then Maybe I'll find some other women who ride, like maybe they'll just come out of the woodwork. Yeah. And so we did our first meetup at a bar and I think two other gals came and we just talked about motorcycles all night and my guy friend showed up too. <laughs> nice. I think by that summer we had like 50 riders. Oh my gosh. That's so and like all 50 don't come to every meetup, you know, it's more like 5 to 10. but. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's so inspiring too, just like that you took that initiative and created something so crazy. And like it's like worldwide now, isn't it? It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's yeah. fun because, yeah, like you might be surprised, like, there's, you know, if you're looking for something like that, then other people probably are too. Yeah. Like, there's probably more riders around here than you realize, yeah. you know? So it's kind of fun just to give people a reason to come together. Yeah. It's really, it's really cool. Um, I never really had anyone that I was able to ride with back where I was from. I didn't really have any other um, girls that were really into riding motorcycles. So that was a big thing when we moved up here to Fargo was, great, now we're gonna have somebody to be able to ride with. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping this summer we're gonna be able to actually maybe plan some rides together, see if we can get a group of girls out to go riding. I know I have some friends I wanna get them into riding motorcycles. She has some friends she wants them to get it in riding motorcycle. Um, I think it'd be really cool if we could get like a girl group together and kind of have some girl rides out. So I think that'd be a lot of fun. All right, we're gonna grab some food. We still have T minus four and a half hours till our flight, so just hanging in cargo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited for food. This looks freaking amazing. Bratwurst. 
I just dropped a teaser for our next motorcycle giveaway. We got them stacked. It's the Heartbreaker, January 26th. People are already commenting. Look at this. Oh. Let's go. All right, my trip to Fargo is over. I'm headed home. I had so much fun surprising Jenna with our Indian Scout Rogue 60. She loves the bike and it was so fun meeting her and her friends and just getting a little picture of what her life is and getting to jump in there and just hang out and talk motorcycles with them all day. We're launching another motorcycle giveaway soon, so be sure and stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.